Hi, joining me for this edition of Eye on the Arts is Marilyn Stuckert, who is the manager of the Northwest Indiana Symphony Youth Orchestra. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, John. Nice to have you here at Eye on the Arts, and, and you do a wonderful job helping the kids learn about classical music, and, and they perform frequently. Oh, yes, quite often. How mm -hmm. often? We have two concerts a year, mm -hmm. uh, one in the fall, which is actually December, mm -hmm. and one for the spring semester, which is in May. And, and that's coming up? Yes, May 10th, which is Mother's Day. It's at Morton High School in mm -hmm. Hammond mm -hmm. um, at 3 p.m. Okay. And um, so how many how many kids are in the youth orchestra? We have about 68 right now. Oh, it's a large group. Then. It is a very large group. And mm -hmm. what are their age ranges? Uh, Seventh and eighth grade for the string players is where okay. they can start, okay. and then um, ninth grade for the band okay. members. And then through what? Uh, Senior. Through, we have a girl who's in college right now. Oh, who's really? With us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. great. But and most of them exit at senior year. Okay, mm -hmm. and they and they are really serious uh, uh, music students. Very serious music students. They Several all study. of them go on to study music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the uh, tell us tell me about what will happen at the spring concert. Some of the special activities that uh, the spring there. concert is the one in which our 2015 concerto competition winner performs. Mm -hmm. This year it's Elena Levi. She's a junior at Chesterton High School, and she'll be performing uh, Samuel Barber's violin concerto. Beautiful. In addition to that, WANUS will be handing out their Edith Root Scholarship Awards. Mm -hmm. Those are given to the students who apply, mm -hmm. and they are used for their summer camp when they go to music okay. schools in the summer. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have our graduating seniors. This year, mm -hmm. we're losing 14. Oh, that's a big it, it number, It is a isn't big it? number, yes. We're going to miss them terribly. And so we do a small presentation for them, and they mm -hmm. tell us about their future plans. Yeah, that's nice. How does one uh, get into the youth orchestra? Well, we have auditions. Mm -hmm. And we have them several times a year. Our next one is on May 26th and 27th for new members. Mm -hmm. And there's music and all the information online mm -hmm. for them to uh, access so that they can join us. And then we do it again throughout the year. Yeah, and then you, and the, the students are active rehearsing beginning in like with the school year, concurrent with the school yes, year. Yes, we run similar to the school year. We start the Sunday after Labor Day okay. is our first rehearsal. We rehearse in Munster at 3 p.m. Okay. Well, that's it's a it's a full roster for those kids. That's great. It's very full. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. great. Well, thank you for being here to tell us about it, and thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with another edition of Eye on the Arts. Eye on the Arts is made possible in part by South Shore Arts, the Indiana Arts Commission, and the National Endowment for the Arts, a federal agency.